Hi, I'm attorney Dan Scott, and I help people resolve their debt, usually in a bankruptcy format. I file Chapter 7s and Chapter 13s uh, and Chapter 11s for businesses. I had a question this week that I thought I might talk with you about, and that is, um, what if you have a credit card that you don't owe any money on, um, you want to keep the credit card and go through your bankruptcy case? Understand you got to disclose all your assets and all your liabilities, right? Um, you may not owe any money on that card, so, you know, uh, if you don't owe any money on it, then you don't have a debt to them. But don't think that you can't, that, that, your, that your refusal or failure to list it as a debt is going to allow you to keep using the credit card. Because what will happen is they'll get notice that the bankruptcy case is filed because, they, you know, there's electronic systems that allow that. Uh, it shows up on your credit report and your credit card company then may slice your card, right? In fact, it's very likely that they will slice your card, put a stop to it, and you won't be able to use it. So you just got to recognize that that's part of the price of the bankruptcy, getting relief of all the debt, is you probably don't have credit through credit cards right away. That's not a bad thing because it, the quicker you can learn to live on what money you make, the better it off is for you. Now, the challenge, of course, is if you travel and you have to go to a hotel or you have to rent a car, you know, you kind of got to have a credit card to do that. But you can do it with a debit card. That is not a credit card, but a debit card. And your debit card attaches directly to your bank account and you will be able to rent a car with a debit card. You'll be able to rent a hotel room with the debit card. But the one thing that you got to remember is that often the debit cards, they put a larger hold on your um, card, which is on your bank account, than for the room, you know, a, a $98 room, they might put a $150 hold, right? Uh, don't know why they do that, but they do. Just be, just recognize that. That's what, that means when you do that, you got to have enough money in the account to, to handle it. So it is going to impair your ability to travel and all that sort of thing. But look, not having credit cards is a good thing for you because if you don't have credit cards and you don't go down to a loan company and you don't get any cash advances, that's a good thing for you. Because for most people, that's where they got jammed up, right? Because it's easy to get to credit, easy to get to credit cards, easy to do online cash advances, and then the next thing you know, it's eating you alive. So get you a fresh start with your bankruptcy and then live differently so that you can have peace again long term. I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate you subscribing if you're looking at YouTube or like it if you're on Facebook. If you've got a question, uh, put it in the comments below. I read those and maybe the next video I shoot will have your question in it. 